Hey, so I wrote for three hours. So yeah, that went well. Uh, I had jumped in the shower, took off my bandages, and uh, sat down, did some writing, and um, yeah, it felt really good. Felt really good. I was um, the last three days. I've just been in a weird place. I couldn't do anything, and I actually have this job. This is what helped me really. Is I determined to sit down and write, and I opened up my own work, my my screenplay to start work on it. And I remembered, oh no, I've I've got this job I have to do, um, which is from these guys in Sweden. They made something called uh, Payday, which was a fantastic heist game, Payday One and Two. The developers who made that branched off on their own. They've got this new company, and the game's called GTFO, as in Get the Fuck Out, I think. Well, I know. Um, and I'm doing some writing with them, some narrative work with them. Uh, they're an independent team, so it's great they're in Sweden. I haven't heard from them for a few months, and you know, I think that's the nature of independent development. They're, they're on, and then they're off. They're always on, but they just don't have the resources to constantly reach out to whatever contractors they have. I don't know who they have other than me, but... They might have some. Um, I assume they're probably working with China to get props and stuff. Every company is, so I don't see why they would be any different. Um, but they reached out to me and said, hey, let's start writing. Can we go? So I'm like, yep, great, let's start. So I started doing that this morning, and that really helps. You know, I'm very lucky to have a job, a contract job, because even though it doesn't pay very much and, and you know, it's erratic, I never know when they're going to call, that deadline just took me over the precipice, right? Whereas if it had just been my own writing, I might have done an hour, maybe, or, you know, I'd have been struggling and or not in the zone or whatever. I had to be in the zone. I had to write. So it was really good. I wrote for three hours. I'm going to write a little bit more because um, I need to get ahead of the schedule. They're, they're behind schedule, I think, so I need to really get going on this. Um, but yeah, it felt really good to write. It felt really good. Um, I didn't really think about my penis all day till just now so yeah that's a definite benefit um yeah that was it just want to check in and i look better look i don't my eyes I, I watched my video this morning my eyes were all red my hair's all over the place i said this thousand yard stare now i feel back and i'm ready and i'm raring to go i can't walk the dogs which is frustrating because i'm still hobbling around um and the dogs haven't been out poor dogs that one right there. Look at that beautiful little dog. That's Django. Hasn't been out for three days. Feeling terrible. I got to. Laura's hasn't been able to, so I got to take them out. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I can play with them in the backyard or something. I don't know. I'm walking around like an old man, so we'll have to see. Uh, that's it. Back on track. Let's do this thing. May not talk about the circumcision again for a few weeks. Maybe I just need to stop thinking about it and get on with my life, and then I'll check in. Once the stitches are gone and everything's kind of healed up. All right, you little nuggets. Right, 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 right.